guys it's a brand new week happy monday um we are back in uh the bbc vegetarian summer we're going to be in this probably most of the week as well and tonight's excellently prepared meal by myself and john's not in yet otherwise he'd be laughing so um having yet more leftover salads that i've kept rolling from last week and uh, I've added to that tonight with the red lentil and carrot koftas and uh, also the goat's curd, blueberry and watercress salad. Now I haven't used goat's curd, I've just used goat's cheese so I've already made some substitutions and my watercress has gone funny so I've just used some uh, green leaves. Couldn't think what I've done then. So this was the new addition tonight, that was the uh, goat's cheese and blueberry salad. And then there's our koftas. The recipe says it makes 30, but I've made 12. So I don't know how big they're supposed to be, but that's only like five centimeters. Um, and then the dressing, there's loads of the dressing. And the dressing is supposed to drizzle over those, but I thought I would kind of just do that. If people couldn't, you know, like John can do that when he wants to, etc. And then just got these three salads left from last week now so um whatever's left for tonight i'm going to try and use these three up tonight and for john's dinner to lunch tomorrow because i don't know how long they'll keep and then the, we've got those as well there we go that's monday's yummy scrummy dinner hi guys it's tuesday and i have a couple of pair of squeaky guinea pigs going off in the which keep distracting me. Okay, so. <laughs> they're really badly distracting me. So, tonight, um, we are continuing with the leftover salads. I'm keeping them rolling, as I've said. And I'm really liking the way that's working at the moment because um, we get quite a nice variety. And, you know, you can have lots of little different things on your plate without having, like just plowing your way through one massive pile of one particular salad so that's really nice really enjoying that um but it's starting to run out now so i'm supplementing that tonight um with um a tart so we're in the i know we're back in the, this magazine which i'm totally loving at the moment a really good purchase um gone for the pea and spring onion tart um, so it's basically just a, like a bit of a tart or a quiche really, so it's um, really quick and easy to make, just kind of you blitzed up the, uh, you make got the pastry and then blitzed and mixed everything else together and then um, cooked in the oven and they look pretty good I think. I think they look quite tasty. They certainly smell very nice anyway. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to have, I'm going to cut that up and um, serve it with leftover salads. So, tonight is Wednesday and we've got leftover of the pea and spring onion tart with some homemade Cajun wedges and some salad. Tonight we've got our good old faithful of tacos. Quick, simple and delicious. Tonight for dinner we're having the pea and new potato curry. And this um, again is from the same magazine. It's the one that's on the front that you keep seeing every time I show you the magazine. So. I thought as I show it to you every time I open a magazine, I thought I might actually as well have a go at actually trying to um, trying to cook it. So there we go. Mr. B is just dishing up. There's the rice ready to go. And he's got the curry that's coming. What are you doing? <laughs> and ta-da. Not quite as the same um, aesthetics as the recipe, but you know, 
We'll try it and we will see. So tonight's Saturday, um, we're not massively hungry and we've just come back from the cinema where we had popcorn and we're just having a medley of little um, picky bits really. So firstly, um, we've got this trio here, which is um, a tapas selection. So it's pimento stuffed olives in a parsley dressing, manchego cheese with chilli flakes and parsley and habas fritters, which are fried broad beans with a chilli and garlic seasoning. Um, and then we've got some um, Mediterranean bread and also we have um, manchego and red pepper croquettes um, and then it's got a red pepper dipping sauce which look very nice as you can see all this um, Spanish stuff was three for six pounds in the co-op I happened to be passing the other day and uh, on Friday and popped in some, some milk and stuff and um, I saw these and I thought they looked nice so that's why we're having kind of like a like a tapasy quite type meal and then also we've got these which I've never had before is that um patatas bravas smoked paprika roasted potato served with a spicy tomato sauce so there we go we're just having basically um picky bits and tapas tonight We're having a lazy Sunday today and so we're just going to have a jacket potato with cheese and beans.